Hey everyone, so I cannot believe this is week six and we only have one more week to go. This is so bittersweet because I have so enjoyed this class and while I'm so excited that I'm almost halfway done with my master's program, whoop, whoop, um, I am not ready to be done with this course. I mean, I've learned so much I feel like about myself and my past work and what I've done. Um, and then meeting you guys and um, listening to you going through your guide, through your processes and what you have to do on the level that you have to do for the work that you do. Um, I just really enjoyed that and I look forward to it every week. I look forward to the readings every week. And so I'm not ready to be done with that part. I so hope that I brought these books, that I bought these books um, so that I don't have to return them. Um, but anyway, neither here nor there. Um, I hate that it's almost done, but um, I've enjoyed this class and this week's readings. Um, the rhythm, tempo, and um, pace I thought was so vital in uh, re just re-emphasizing um, some of those things that um, what makes a good performance. And that is it. It is one of the most important, if not the most important, um, thing when um, doing the performance and that's performance just every day in our life the rhythm and tempo and the pace that we go and and what we bring the the energy that we bring it means so much to how we perform and how we conduct and how we engage people and our audience and and just pulling um, the emotions and a response from those that we are engaged with and so I think that is important and then also the second reading with um, rehearsing um, the production, uh, working with actors, um, how they gave the symptoms and uh, being able to identify the cause. And then, uh, um, and then also um, solving the problem, like um, it was correcting the problem. So I really enjoyed that. I can, I, I can appreciate that as a director and as an instructor um, that... Um, they gave these these scenarios and these tips and these ideas and these exercises and the warm-up um, tips that we can utilize to address any issues that we come across. Um, for the, um, what was it, the tech and um, the rehearsals and preparing, what whatever this was for, which was, um, let me go back to it, that we have to address in this video and in our discussion board I want to make sure I get it right tech and dress rehearsal yes um, so um, I have ran into so many problems with the tech and dress rehearsal um, just because I am it when it comes to um, being the director to um, being the edit guy being the sound guy being um, the one that's making the the um, costumes and you know, I'm just all over the place and making this thing happen, you know, um, once, until I can get engaged to kids and, and um, you know, really um, pull in their, their skills and what they have to bring to the table. I'm just kind of that person and they look for me to be that person to bring it all together. And so because I voluntarily do this, um, there's not really time for me to do it at work or, you know, um, with what I do. Um, I always found myself or find myself last minute and because my best ideas come like the night before the performance. Um, so many times I've changed things like, hey, I thought about this. Let's do this. And I've been fortunate enough that it has worked. But I've ran into so many tech and problems in dress rehearsal um, issues because of um, just my setup and how um, I operate. But um, after reading... After doing these readings and also getting tips or, and listening to you guys and, and watching the videos and then the, and the discussions, um, I really feel like that there is a better way in that um, now that I know better, I feel like I can do better, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm excited to um, just figuring that out, how to um, address those um, tech issues and how I can better um, organize and structure um, my process to address those issues that come with that. Uh, my issues are really usually not with the kids, but 
just having a direction in a, a clear direction in where we're going um, so that they that they can perform at their best level and we can give the best performance as possible um, so um, great reads um, just a great week and I'm, I'm excited to put this um, into action so hope all is well happy holidays um, look forward to seeing you guys next week um, much success to you guys peace